Hello everybody and welcome to City Skylines. I'm your host Vasquez and this is my latest city build or the second episode, the biggest expansion. If you saw the first episode, you probably remember all of this. This is the main area for the first episode and now we have probably double the size on this big big area. And you can see again I continued my pattern there's no high-rise residential it we have a couple of buildings everything here you see is residential buildings we have metro line here and here and I'm going to show you uh, my transportation part but first off let's see the city I think it's looking again natural it's uh, high-rise it's not everything the same size or the the white everything is quite different and that was my goal to create a way to have this city naturally or maybe realistically so here we have our helicopter part if you have the latest DLC you can use helicopters now for the transportation if you don't know how to create a route I have a video you can check the video out so let's continue this uh, city show you can see I have now two big high rises as I said only this part this small part here is the high rise buildings for the residential everything else is for the offices and the high density commercials or the job creators as I said uh, you can see the road system it's pretty clean there's a not a lot of traffic this is achieved by a really really good transportation system you can see here we have three bill uh, three garages and we have flying cars <laughs> okay th that's the game bug <laughs> we have flying cars uh, okay <laughs> let's continue so uh, when I show you city like this you can see it's looking uh, realistic and natural there is a lot of space used here for residential I think it's double the size than the last video yeah maybe more this is the first one this is the second one okay maybe three times uh, let's continue here you can see there is a lot of activity on this part this is my second fishing industry and if you have a problem with the fishing industry uh, for example I know that is a there is a bug to hunt tuna fish I have a solution you have a video about that and I can say that uh, video about fishing industry went really good so thank you for that if you have a problem with tuna hunting you can check the video and see a solution it's really really simple guys so let's continue uh, the city expanded quite much and I'm working on it for the last five days and I'm really happy about this so I I can show you another addition here we have a small small uh, farming industry nothing too big and I have an addition to the rail we have another port over here this port and this is connected because I had a quite a big problem to bring all the goods into my city because I have all the high density commercial area here and this depot and this one are connected to the port and to the station over here and we are now having delivered goods so the train will arrive here okay this isn't really <laughs> okay it, it it's some kind of a mistake so the train will ar arrive here bring all the goods and the vans and the smaller trucks will move from this depot as you can see they're now moving and they're not causing a lot of traffic because they will going to deliver goods everywhere that it's needed and they're closer to the city uh, especially this one this one is really close to the city but not too close so they are going to take all the goods and deliver all over the city you can see there is a quite complicated route over here because I had 
a lot of problems to correct this. There is a tunnel system, so it's functioning now. Uh, be before I created all this, I was checking every single thing where the resonance and the trucks want to move. So this tunnel is connected to this and to this part here. They are delivering all the goods. So I improved my traffic quite a lot. Next thing I want to show you is my transportation system. Uh, I can say it's pretty detailed. I have almost 5,000 people moving with uh, buses, with trolley buses, with metro, with uh, helicopter routes. And I have found that metro is working quite nicely. You can see here in the first episode our yellow line expanded, I think, three stations. Now the yellow line is much much bigger and it's covering a lot of residential space. You can see here we have two bus lines, only two, and one is small route and the second one is a huge huge bus line and I think it's working quite nicely. So I will show you, we have our bus line start here, you can see the bus is going to the depot now. The route is starting here and it's moving all over the place, all, taking all the citizens from this part, moving to this part and through these residential areas and moving all of the new buildings from the this episode and moving to the old part. You can see there's a lot of stations for the metro and for the buses and the trolley buses and it's moving and connecting my uh, first big part of the city with all of the residential area on this side and it's connecting these two main areas. So it's looking really nice and it's working so far. So 5000 people I think it's really really good but we can do more because I'm planning to expand this even more I found that my routes can be upgraded so so far we are here and uh, it's looking good let's let's see this again I mean residential from here and here are connected to this main city all of the guys from here are connected between them so everybody can go wherever they want <laughs> it's really really detailed so as I said we have a quite a lot of activity here I have some problems on this part that I need to fix there is a problem in the traffic let me just see but 78% we have here is a really really big problem it's fixable of course but here you can see only problem here problem here and here it's not that bad the rest of the city is yellow and green so 70,000 people living I think uh, I take a lot of the part of the map with residential uh, I have only this part here, this is a small area with industry, Everything, uh, everybody is working on the offices, so I don't have a big, big industry. I have only this small farming industry and this industrial generic, as you can say, and a small ore industry. Uh, and for the next, I want to say... Uh, next episode, I am building an airport, a metropolitan airport. It is going to be a huge one, probably the size of this part of the city, maybe even bigger. And I finished a lot of the details, but I'm going to work on it for a couple of more days and then I'm going to post the video because I want to create it uh, very big and very, very detailed. So for the next video, we are going to have a video about the airport. Next, uh, I'm planning the city expansion. I'm going to move my expansion on this and this part because this is a really, really huge map and there's a lot of room to build. 
but I think the best way is to continue this series on this island and uh, move along through this area. Uh, for this area I don't want to build my residential area because it's mountainy and I want to have it like this maybe to expand my ore industry on this side but I will see how that looks of course. So on the third part of the city I'm going to create uh, an expansion on this side and this side. So this is it guys. I really really hope that you like the city. I spent a lot of time building this and creating this uh, look and uh, trying to fix the traffic, trying to uh, deliver all of the bus lines and the metro lines and everything is connected. I'm really happy how is this looking and how detailed it is. So if you like the video and you want to see more of this city build or the metropolitan airport, uh, subscribe to the channel, press the like button and of course if you have any suggestion to improve the city you can leave a comment so you can help me to improve the city even more. And uh, what's more can I say? Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you on the next video. Bye everybody.